Hi there. It's Crochet CJ Carla here with episode 37. Wow. Um, I'm a mom and a midwife and I'm a born again Christian and I love people enough to tell them that. It's great to see you guys. I know it's been a while. Like I said previously, working a lot, just have a lot going on. So hopefully things will slow down here in the next month or so uh, when I'm not working so many hours and maybe I can get back to a more regular schedule. So we're going to start off with finished objects. What am I wearing? This is called the Spill Shawl. It is a beautiful shawl. Uh, I'll link the pattern below. It's a great pattern. Really, really like it. It was really simple. It's made with short rows. Um, the yarn I used is Stylecraft Batik Swirl. The color is Blue Ocean, and I think it does look a lot like the ocean. Um, and it is 80% acrylic, 20% wool. There's 601 yards in a cake, 200 grams, and I used two cakes. This yarn was sent to me by my sweet sister from another mister, Mary, from Mary's Crochet Chit Chat. She sent it to me from her lovely home in Ireland, and my shawl pin that she sent me, Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm wearing that too. And my next finished object, I made seven candy corn newborn hats for my little babies at work. And I didn't take a picture. Don't ask me why. I'm really not very good about doing that. I really need to be better. But it was simply, I used uh, Melanie Ham's 20 minute baby hat uh, pattern. Uh, I saw that long ago on um, YouTube and I'll link that below too. It was really, uh, it really is a really easy thing. Now I normally with that pattern use a bulky yarn and because I was doing candy corn and changing colors, I used Red Heart Super Saver in white, orange, and then yellow to make it look like candy corn, and I just changed it. But because it's not a bulky yarn, it's a worsted weight, I doubled it up and made it bulky, and it worked out perfectly. So I used that for that. Um, my last finished object, I made one of the cuddlers from 3AM Grace and the on the pattern they have, they make it a girl and they put a little bow on it. I didn't really want to put a bow on mine just because I just wanted the ghost. Is this not adorable? I'll link this pattern too, but this is from 3AM Grace Designs and it's one of their cuddlers and it's made with Red Heart Super Saver in white. And then the eyes, uh, it calls for safety eyes, but then it gives you this alternative pattern for eyes, which is the, you know, you just use yarn to make the little circle and then you uh, seam it on here. And then this is just black embroidery thread for the mouth. And it's the same thing for like the bow and then it does like little pink cheeks if you want to. It gives you the design for those too. Um, the eyes are made out of uh, Karen Simply Soft in black because that was the black I could find. You know, and I I had white left over from my candy corn hats, but I just wanted to make that. I thought it was so cute. I also have their Santa one. And I want to say it's Santa in a chimney. I'll try to remember to link that pattern too. Um, but I, I love their designs. I've, this is the first one I've ever made, but I really love their designs. I think they're really great. Um, I, joys in progress, actually. <laughs> I just finished that ghost up last night. I was thinking, oh, I'll have that for a joy in progress. But I finished it last night, so I don't have anything in progress right now. Um, my next project, I'm not quite sure what it's going to be. But, you know, I have a whole list of things from January that I was going to do this year, so I have plenty of joys in progress in the future. 
Uh, I do have a whole bag of hats and shawls that I am taking to my friend um, who works in a cancer treatment hospital uh, for their patients. Uh, I've been waiting for it to kind of get cooler so they would actually need the shawls and things. Um, so those are ready to go and I get to take those tomorrow. I'm excited about that. She's a sweet, sweet woman and a wonderful nurse and I know that her um, clients really appreciate her. Um, acquisitions. So I went to Tuesday morning. Duh. Again, my husband got bored, so he takes me to Tuesday morning. And I got this. It's Fezzi yarn. It's called Tweed Wool. And it is this really pretty navy with these flecks in it. I think that's really gorgeous. I like that. Anyway, I've got three of those because that's all they had. And uh, it is... 50 grams, 165 yards, um, 75% organic merino and 25% acrylic. So I had to write that down because everything is underneath the price ticket. <laughs> it's lovely. Anyway, so I got that. That's really going to be fun to work with. And then my sweet, sweet friend Carrie sent me a package with some yarn and a little prize so she sent me um, these cute skull, sugar skull stickers because I know she likes them but I, she knows I like sugar skulls too so that'll be fun to stick on envelopes and things uh, and then she's she's been to Tuesday morning also and she sent me this uh, yarn. It's called Good Earth and it's from Fibra Natura. It's a cotton linen blend. So it's, um, let's see, 47% linen, 53% cotton. It's 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 204 yards. Um, and I'm going to say like a worsted weight pretty much, but it's just this gorgeous purples. She sent me three of those. And I have, I don't think I've ever used a cotton linen blend. I've used cotton blends, cotton acrylic blends, or cotton polyester maybe, but I've never used a cotton linen, so I'm looking forward to using that. I don't know what I'm going to make with that, but it's going to be beautiful. <clears throat> then my sweet friend Sandra sent me uh, a package with some just a variety of lovely things in it. One of the things uh, locally where she lives, the, this lady makes these wax scents, wax melt scents. I'm sure she makes other things, probably soaps and stuff. But this is dragon's blood. <laughs> it's wax melts, but it, it is. It's called dragon's blood. And it smells wonderful. Everything in my package smelled like this because it smells so wonderful. Um, also in the package, she sent me these adorable cooking spoons. Okay, and you're like, cooking spoons? Carla doesn't like to cook. These are not to use to cook with. Anyway, so here we have Harry, Ron, and Hermione are burned into this spoon. This one says always on it, and it has the Patronus. And it says nine and three quarters. This one says, I solemnly swear I am up to no good. And it has the Hogwarts crest on it. This one has the symbol for the Order of the Phoenix and Harry Potter and the Marauder's Map. And this one, again, says, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. It has little footprints off the Marauder's Map. And then it has Harry playing Quidditch as Seeker. As we all know, he is the Seeker for Gryffindor. So, some decorative spoons. I'm sure they're quite usable, but they're going to hang on the wall because I just think they're adorable, and I can't imagine using those and 
ruining that. I'm sure they're meant to be decorative and not to be used. Anyway, I'm excited about those. I think those are so cool. Um, she also sent me some of this bloom yarn from Premier. Uh, there's 656 yards, 600 meters, and 7 ounces, 200 grams. It's 100% acrylic. It's a light 3, and I would agree with that. Yeah, it's kind of a 3. This particular color is... Um, Boutonniere. And it's uh, blacks and grays. If you've ever seen this bloom yarn worked up, I know Crystal's worked some up, um, but it looks like little flowers when you work it up. It's really cool. I'd been wanting to try it, and I mentioned it, and Sandra's like, don't order any. I ordered some, and I will send you some. She also sent me bloom, and this color is daffodil. Isn't that pretty? Those pretty yellows. That's going to make something really cute. You know, in 656 yards, I can probably get a baby blanket out of that. I think that would be perfect for a baby blanket. And then she sent me, um, this color is hummingbird. Huh? I love that hummingbird. Isn't that gorgeous though? Those blues. I just think that's beautiful. She also sent me some of this dotted line because she knew I hadn't used it before. Um, dotted line is 4.4 ounces, 125 grams, 410 yards, or 375 meters. It's 100% acrylic. This is called Green Machine, and it's a two. But isn't that pretty? I am pretty sure that I can get a hat that I, I love the pattern for, <laughs> that I can get that out of that. Um, she just sent me all sorts of little goodies in this bag, too. <laughs> Kleenex, because she knows it says seize this moment. I think that's cool. But, yeah, I always carry Kleenex with me, so um, that's going to go in my pocketbook. She sent me this lovely pen from their VA there, um, and it says Mountain Home Healthcare System on it, but it's a red, white, and blue pen she knows I'm a nurse I like pens beautiful buttons in this green which I love green almost as much as I love purple she also sent me this little packet of like their little tiny composition notebooks and I like office supplies too I know nerdy geek and she sent me some fabric there's this pretty, it says faith and love and hope and all over it. It's really pretty. I can't wait to make something out of that. And then she sent me some sugar skull fabric. Look at that. Because she knows I like my sugar skulls too. Llamas. <laughs> no drama llama pad. And then these beautiful magnetic page markers. And they say like trust in God, God is love. Don't worry, Philippians 4, 6. And then one has a butterfly, and one has a bicycle, and one has a little bird. But look at them. And then on the opposite side, it has like, God is faithful, God cares about you, 1 Peter 5, 7. I mean, it has something on both sides. So you can use those to mark pages. And I'm an avid reader. Plus, I'm always, you know, into some medical journal or something anyway so and then this beautiful leather bookmark it's purple leather and it says I can do all this through him who gives me strength Philippians 4 13 but isn't that lovely and it's got like this stamped pattern in it it's just really really pretty I think it's gorgeous and I am so excited to use it because, again, I like books and leather. <laughs> and that, I mean, I'm just like, I get overwhelmed sometimes that I have such lovely friends who are so sweet to me. And, and, and send me happy mail 
you know and I wouldn't care if you just you know sent me a card I enjoy getting cards and I save every one of them um, but I you know and I love sending out happy mail too and, and I have such generous friends and they're so lovely um, and they just do such nice things for me uh, speaking of sending out happy mail um, you know guys I don't do giveaways anymore I just do random happy mail so I will be selecting two people from the comments on this video to send out random happy mail to and I don't know what I'm gonna send yet I'm just gonna select the people and then I'm gonna um, throw in the bag just random things and send them to you in your comment you don't really have to say anything specific just whatever you were going to comment if you want to put in there um, like what weight yarn you like that would be great um, that way maybe I can tailor it to you when I select your name so that would be good too um, uh, and then I will get those in the mail as soon as I get the addresses from the people and send that out um, the last thing that I have to talk about is my fair winnings right so I entered nine items in our county fair here and six of them got ribbons so the first one that I'm going to show you is my levy that I put in there with my little monkey and it, I entered it as a baby item and it got a fifth place ribbon the next item that got a ribbon was I made this uh, pastel rainbow baby blanket it's just granny square stitch I think I've showed it to you before and I entered it in the baby afghan and it took a fourth place ribbon Uh, my they only had one category for crochet clothing and so I entered my cable sweater that I made with yarn from my sweet friend Mary and it got a second place ribbon And then my little yellow pumpkin that I made I entered it as a table decor holiday and it took a first place ribbon <laughs> I know it's a really simple thing that I entered um, but I thought it was really cute and wanted to enter it and the only thing I can venture to say that it got a first place ribbon is more than likely there weren't a lot of things entered in holiday table decor because to me this is a really simple item but I don't know I you know I didn't see well I saw what was out there but you, it was hard for me to tell what was in what category because there are several categories you know um, I entered a Grinch wreath and Christmas wreath and it took first place now I do know there were several Christmas wreaths so I feel pretty good that that took first place and then my last item that I entered that got a ribbon was you guys might remember Otto the octopus Otto look at Otto I entered Otto the octopus as a stuffed toy child safe stuffed toy and he took first place and yeah I'm pretty pleased with Otto he's he was a labor of love because I just thought he was really adorable um, I will admit that I got the idea to make him from watching Ella at no at, at uh, no catchy name so check her out she always she's done the fair I mean I, she was one of the first YouTube channels that I started watching and she had done the fair I think three years ago 
and she's done it at least three years in a row that I know of, or at least while she's had her channel going. And so I've watched her every year in her things and, and seen her winnings and stuff. The last two years she's taken best in show. I'm really impressed. I did not think to look around when I went to look at how everybody placed and stuff. I didn't think to look and see who got best in show because I really wanted to see what took best in show, but I forgot to look. So I don't know. And when I went back to pick up my items and to pick up my check for $34, woot woot, <laughs> for all my places. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you think about all the categories that they probably put out a lot of money for those. Um, and I took that to Michael's and turned it into yarn. Oh, I forgot. I did buy yarn at Michael's too. And I bought Karen latte cakes because I've never had any. They were on sale for six, six $6.50. Anyway, I got two um, of the gray velvet. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. I love them. And I got two of the um, plum because it's purple. Hmm, how about that? And I got this huge skein of ice cream yarn. I've had some ice cream yarn. I made a shawl out of ice cream yarn not too long ago, but that was a gift and I'd never bought any of it. It's a three weight and there's 1,117 yards on this. And I thought, wow, I bet I can get a baby blanket out of that. So anyway, that's what I did with my winnings. I turned it into yarn at Michael's. Um, but it was fun entering the fair. I'm excited to enter again next year. I'm already starting to think of things that I want to make to enter in the fair. The items that I entered that didn't win anything, I entered my Harry Potter hat and my Harry Potter cowl in the hat and the scarf separate entries um, but there were lots and lots of crocheted hats and scarves so I'm not surprised that you know with only you know they have five places I'm not surprised that they didn't win anything because there were a lot in that category the one I was really shocked I entered my polka dot blanket that I had made with um, um, crystal from secret yarnery when they did the the polka dot blanket crochet along and I mean that's a lot of work because you make all those circles the dots and then you turn them into squares and then you put them together and then you do your border which is all those different rows of color and to me that's a lot of color changes and a lot of work and I was really surprised that it didn't place because the ones that did place were just like a ripple afghan and there was another one that was a lot of color differences but it was a a variegated yarn it wasn't like they changed colors to make it so I really felt like what are they judging on I mean I don't I don't are they just judging on what I like or what's cute <laughs> I don't know and I mean that's a cute blanket too anyway but I was really surprised it didn't place at all uh, but it didn't and you know that that's how it is so I mean I guess I I'll make stuff for next year, but I'm just going to make things that I like and, you know, I may enter, I'll enter a shawl probably next year instead of a sweater. Um, I don't know. I may make another campfire cardigan and enter it because I really like the campfire cardigans. But anyway, whatever the case, um, I will enter again next year because it was a lot of fun to enter. Um, the ladies were really super sweet. When I went to uh, pick up my items, um, you know, the one lady was like, I knew that your Grinch wreath would get a first place. I knew it. And when I, it was funny because when I first went in there to pick up my items, I had waited until the very end of the pickup time because I had to be at work about an hour later and I didn't want to, you know, go to town um, very early and have a bunch of time to kill before I went to work that day. So I get there about a quarter to three and three was the cutoff time to pick up your items and pick up your check. And when I got there, I went over to pick up my octopus. And the two ladies at the table were just like looking at me like, really? <laughs> and one of them said, we were just getting ready to draw straws to see who got to take the octopus home. 
<laughs> so they were hoping that I would not show up to pick it up. And I'm thinking, mm, nope, too much work. <laughs> I'm picking that one up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really, uh, I really had a great time. And <clears throat> the ladies from the, uh, the home extension group that volunteer and organize that, I mean, just a big big round of thanks and applause to them because they work really hard to put together a fair that you don't pay any entrance fee to enter your items no one pays a fee to go into the the fair barn and look at any of the items the exposition i mean it's free to get in um they do a beautiful job setting everything up so you can see what's been made you know they make sure everybody's names displayed and their ribbons they just do a really beautiful job and they are very nice it was my first time to enter anything in the fair so i had lots of questions and they answered them all and just were great so you know i just can't say enough about these wonderful ladies and they just they just really made it a pleasant experience and i would encourage anybody if you have a county fair Take some of your items and enter them. You know, I know that the stuff you're making is just as beautiful as anything anybody enters, and you just you just need to enter it because you'll just have so much fun. And it makes you feel good to see that ribbon too. So now I have to go like make a shadow box or something to put my ribbons in <laughs> so that I can display them, right? Or maybe I'll just get a hanger and hang them from a hanger and hang them on the wall. I don't know. I don't know. Lots of fun stuff. Um, I guess that's all I have to offer today. Uh, it's really good to see you guys again. Um, and like I said, I'm going to try to get more regular. Uh, come next month, we should have a little more help. Uh, next month is going to be my youtube anniversary. i don't know what you call it i believe october 28th last year was the first video i ever made and so we're going to go back um back in time and kind of review i think that first episode and laugh oh october 27th forgive me october 27th so um <laughs> and if you go back and watch that first episode and see how stiff and <laughs> and weird I am but it was my first time to do this and and now I'm like it's just like sitting around the house talking to you guys and so I'm much more comfortable with it but um, you guys have a really blessed week and remember that Jesus loves you and so do I bye <laughs>